Okay, so let's solve this problem. So find the center and the radius of the circle with the given equation. So to find the center and the radius from this equation, first, we need to rewrite this equation in a standard form. And in writing this equation to a standard form, these are the steps. So we have group all x and all y's. So from this given, we need to group all x. So we have x squared plus 4x then plus group all y's. So we have y squared minus 8y then equals for this constant transpose to the other side and this positive 13 becomes negative 13 then after grouping all x and all y's do the completing the square and in completing the square for x so just take this number we have 4 then divide that by 2, take the square, so 4 divided by 2, that's 2, then to the power 2, this is equal to 4, then for y, take this number, so we have 8, then again divide by 2, take the square, and 8 divided by 2, this is 4 to the power 2, and 4 to the power 2 is 16. Then add uh, these numbers to create a new equation. So this becomes x squared plus 4x then plus 4x. Add uh, these numbers so plus 4 then plus y squared minus 8y then plus for y, add uh, this number, so plus 16, then equals negative 13. Since we add 4 for x, we also need to add 4 on the right side. Then since we add 16 for y, we also need to add 16 on the right side. So the numbers we added on the left side must also be added on the right side. Then after completing the square, apply now the factoring. So for x, to factor out this equation, so we have x squared. This is x times x. Since the middle term is positive, so this is plus. And factors for 4. That's 2 squared, so this is 2, then to the power 2, then plus 4y, so y squared, that's y times y. Since the middle term is negative, so this is minus, and factors for 16, that's 4 squared, so this is 4, then to the power 2. Then equals, simplify this equation, so we have negative 13 plus 4, this is negative 9, and negative 9 plus 16, this is positive 7. Then from this equation, since in a standard form, we have this r to the power 2, so we need to rewrite this 7 with exponent 2. And to rewrite this 7 with exponent 2, so we have x plus 2 to the power 2, then plus y minus 4 to the power 2 equals, just take the square root of 7, then raise to the power 2. Then this time, from this equation, we can find now the center and the radius since from this given equation this is h this is k and this is r and center is h and k the radius is r so to find now the center so that's 
H and K, then take note for the center. Since this one is positive, so H is negative 2. And for K, since this one is negative, so K is positive 4. So the center is negative 2 and positive 4. Then for the radius, so for the radius, so we have R squared. So therefore, the radius is square root of 7. So we have now the center negative 2, positive 4, and the radius is square root of 7. For this given, so again, we need to group all x and all y. So we have x squared minus 10x, 10 plus 4y, y squared plus 2y, then equal, so transpose this constant to the right side, so this negative 10 becomes positive 10. Then do completing the square, so in completing the square for x, so just take this number, that's 10, then divide by 2, take the square, and 10 divide by 2, this is 5, and 5 to the power 2, that's 25. Then for y, so take this number, that's 2, then divide by 2, then to the power 2, and 2 divide by 2, that's 1, and 1 squared is 1. Then we need to add these numbers to create a new equation. So we have x squared minus 10x, then plus 4x, add this number, so plus 25, then plus y squared, plus 2y, then plus 4y, add this number, so plus 1, equals 10. Then again, the number we added on the left side must also be added on the right side. Since we add 25 for x, so therefore, this is plus 25, and we add 1 for y, so this is plus 1. Then apply now the factoring, so for x, this is x squared, so we have x. Then since the middle term is negative, so this is minus, and for 25, that's 5 squared, so that's 5, then to the power 2. Then plus for y, so y squared, that's y, and since this one is positive, so we have plus and for 1, that's 1 squared. So this is 1, then to the power 2, then equals, simplify these numbers. So 10 plus 25, this is 35 plus 1, that's 36. Then from the standard equation, so we have this r squared. We need to rewrite this 36 with exponent 2. So we have x minus 5 to the power 2, then plus y plus 2 to the power 2, then equals. So again, just take the square root of 36, then raise to the power 2. Then this time, we can find now the center and the radius from this equation. Because from this equation, this is h. This is K, and this is R. So we have now the center, that's H and K. And from this equation, since H is negative, so this is positive 5. And for K, since this one is positive, so k is negative 1, so the center is positive 5 and negative 1. Then to find out the radius, so the radius is r and this is r, so the radius is square root of 36.
But since we can reduce or we can simplify the square root of 36 and square root of 36 is equal to 6, so the radius is equal to positive 6. So the center now is 5 and negative 1 and the radius is 6.